Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to round three of Conja. And we're about to get into this right now. Getting a bit of a feel for this game. I think I'm getting a little bit, some of my timing is a little off. But, uh, how about how you use these? So, for example, this guy has the untap ability, right? So he can un untap any of his tapped cards by discarding this. But, to retain that and stop the other person from stealing it from him, he has to activate this. But if he activates this straight away, it'll untap everyone's card. So there's a bit of confusion about how best to, when is the best time to activate these things. Now, basically, I think what he's after is cash. He is the first player, we chucked the thing over. So he is going to activate this guy. Choose gold, then each player gets two gold. That's one, two, one, two. Now he's going to do a roll. And we need the whites. Yeah, blammo. Ooh, triple six. Which cannot really, it can't even be attacked, so that's a fantastic first roll. And we have a three and a two. Okay, so, so he's actually going to activate that. Well, there's no real point. I mean, he could activate it. He wants, he kind of wants this one though, right? Yeah, I think he's going to activate this by discarding the spirit token. And it just untaps this guy. And then he's going to use his spare die to go there. And then tap that card straight away. Spend two green tokens to re-roll these remaining two dice. Come on. Gets a five and a three. Okay, so that's not much of a help. Still, we get that five. Three is no use to us, but we did get a five, so we can place the five here, and we can place the three sixes here. And we also get a dollar sign. So that is one green, one yellow, and a cloud. And there's no point in the opponent trying to attack this because he's rolled sixes. If he rolls a six, he can replace the five, but then he adds a six to the point score. So very good roll. So that is one three-point cloud, one green, and one gold. Right, our next fellow also doesn't really want to activate the untapper, but I think kind of wants gold, but there's not a lot of choice for gold. Turns out I forgot to draw the next card out. Ah, nice. Now this is interesting. This might be a good time to do this. Basically, if you go to the artifact god, which she's going to do, as the first player, you get to sell an artifact and then everyone gets to buy an artifact. But we are currently at five artifacts over here, which is the hand limit. So there's nothing we can do there. Meaning that this dude, who's only at four, gets a free buy without having to give anything to the opponent. Pretty cool. And she is going to buy this for one gold. Draw out the replacement. Ooh, okay, bam, and that costs a gold. Gold seems to be actually quite important in this game. Okay, what you got for us? Okay, so we have double four, a one, two, three, four. Okay. First thing we're going to do is activate some of these cards. This one here just gets tapped. We don't even need a uh, dice for it. So we'll just tap that card and gain a resource. We'll spend one die and tap this card and gain another gold. Now this one, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually say in the manuals, but it's got the slash signs between them, which I think is the universal gaming equivalent of ore. So when I first saw this card, I thought you could get three of a kind, but you, I think you only get one of each. So that's just one gold. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, and a four. 
which is pretty nice. And we also get one of these, but this dude over here doesn't like all that gold collection. So he's going to spend one power to cast rule, which allows him to roll the red die. Now the red die is the attack dice. So hopefully let's see how that goes. Oh, terrible. Roll a six, which is probably the worst roll you can get. So now that they've rolled a six, he can replace any die in here that he wants. So probably the best one to replace is the three. So that one gets discarded. So now we have a one and two, which does nothing. We have a double four, which we'll put up here and we'll put the six up here. So we remove all the straight and that brings him to three greens, one blue, and these are wasted. So three greens, one blue. So they're pretty brutal, those cards. It's three greens and one blue. Okay, and talking about brutal, he is now going to do the untap. Boom, takes back the automatic untapper. Then everyone can untap all their cards which is pretty good, which means everyone's got access to their die rolls again. So he's a rolling. You blow mo. Okay, so we have four, five, a four, a one, and a two. So that's one, two, and a double five. Let's take this sucker and do a re roll that does not tap the card. We're not spending any tokens, so we re-roll every single green die. You see, there's two cards, right? One card says, this card says, pay a token, and for each token you spend, you lock a die and do not have to re-roll it. This one says, for every token you spend, you can re-roll one die. Slightly different. This one requires a tap, and that one doesn't. So we did this one, but we didn't spend any tokens, so we have to re-roll every single die, except the whites, obviously. Okay, so that's a bit of a better roll. We've got a th two, three, four, and a double six. I think he's going to keep this. So he's going to go two, three, four for three coins, and we're going to go double six for two of those things. And we're going to go here for a whatever card. But before he does that, he's going to quickly activate these two cards. Neither of these need to need a die to tap. So we just tap that one and tap this one. This one here gives us two tokens. And this one here allows us to draw a card. And what have we got here? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually a pretty strong card that allows us to purchase cloud tiles, do upgrades, or anything. We just, this allows us to buy anything without choosing a guard. Very cool. None of those are going to affect our die roll, so that is the final die roll. It's going to give him another three coins and two blues and a green. But the little lady is not happy with that. She's going to activate her attack dice. She rolls a six. Pretty bad. Okay, so she's going to replace the four with a six. And this is now removed from the thing. The two and the three, the two and three are no longer usable, but he still gets three sixes, which is actually a VP. Still gets a VP. Okay, so that's three, six, nine, twelve versus three, six, ten. Okay, so she's gonna go here. That allows her to flip over a tile and everyone gets to buy a tile. So she's gonna spend two tokens to flip over the three to a four. And this dude is gonna spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and buy a five pointer. Yoink. Now the, the higher level ones cost less to flip over so that's five turns into a six with one coin. Right, so there's one, there's, he actually does have an attack die free, so he's timed it well, as first player always goes last, which means 
She will never get a turn without an attack die, attack die threatening. Okay, so we have one, two, three. That's a terrible roll, isn't it? Oh, we didn't roll one of the die. So I think we're going to spend this one. We're going to put it here and re-roll everything. Here blam. There, yeah, much better roll. Triple five. Okay. And then we're going to go here and tap and pay two power like that. And that gives us the purple die and we also get to reroll two greens. So we're rerolling these. We're looking for another triple five. Come on. Let's get masses of fives. Come on, fives. Blam! Oh, so close. We do get one five. This cannot be re-rolled at all. And we do have a one. Finally, we're going to tap this one, which doesn't need a die, to just gain another coin. Now, he may as well... He's going to try it, see if he can be a scummy. He's going to activate this to roll a red die. Costs him one of these. Now, this is a hard one to beat, because he's got to beat fives, but this is currently going to draw a five-point tile. If I can roll a six, I will reduce the points he gets by two. If I roll a five, I actually increase it by two. Okay. What you got for us? Two. Okay. So that does nothing. So the two replaces the one. Who cares? So we have four fives. We have a four up here. So that's one green and a five pointer because it's three of a kind is a three, four of a kind is a five, and five of a kind is a seven. So she picks up a five. Nice work. And she also gets one of these. Now the final god, I am. This one just says you can discard a card and then everyone gets to draw to three. He actually really likes his card. He's got two yayas and this one, yeah. But we have it. He's not going to do anything. So no one gets to draw or do anything. But we do get to roll. Okay, so that is... Triple two. Five and a four. Okay, let's do this one. We're going to tap. We don't actually tap this card, but uh, we're going to re-roll all the greens. Now, the reason why is that even though that's a triple, which is a point scorer, because they're twos, they're very easy to disrupt. And she does have a Rue card, which is like a out of turn combat die. So, I'm going to re-roll all of these. It's a triple three this time. It's a little bit harder to disrupt. And a double two. Not bad. Uh, for starters, I think he's going to do something a little bit tricky here. He's actually going to use his Yaya, -ya, so he's going to spend one of these, spend a Yaya. -ya. That allows him to flip a card, or flip a point scoring card. He's going to flip one of his own, I think. That costs him one gold, and he's going to flip the five to a six. Then he's going to discard this thing to untap this card, which is then he's going to tap again. Draw another card. Beautiful. It costs him two power, which he doesn't currently have. And then he's just going to put the double two and the triple three. But she's going to cast Rue for one point. She's got lots of power, just no coins. And roll the red dot. She gets a four. Excellent. So she gets a four, which is not as good as I thought, but still better than nothing. And we have a choice here. We can replace one of the threes, which will stop him getting three victory points. But that will give him a two, three, four, which will give him three gold. Or we can replace one of the twos. He'll still get three victory points, but he won't get gold. And he can only get a green. Let's check out the point situation here. We have three, six, nine... 12, 18, and the game ends at 21 points versus 
8, 9, 10, 11, 16. So if we give him three points, he's definitely very close to winning. But then again, he also has the Yaya, which means if he has coins, he can buy stuff just out of the blue. So that'll give him three gold. He has one gold here, that's four gold. Hmm. Five, six gold. So he'll be six gold. He'll be two gold short next turn of buying a five if he doesn't get gold some other way. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is after all that thinking and bollocksing around, we're gonna replace the three with the four, uh, we're gonna replace the two, beg your pardon? No, yeah, the three with the four. And that means he's gonna go two, three, four. And these two are gonna be discarded. So after all that, he gets three gold. One, two, three. Okay, and that is the end of round three. There's a lot of dynamic stuff going on there. Combos are starting to come into play, but the game is almost over. We only need a few more points. Left is definitely looking good. And I'll see you guys next time.